From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. At this late hour, we're looking at variably cloudy skies off the Cornell sky cam right now. You can see a wet pavement here. We still are tracking a couple showers that are passing through the southern Figure Lakes area, heading down to the southern tier. And uh, again, any showers that we get moving forward will tend to be brief through the overnight period, but they'll fire back up again during the day tomorrow. Uh, these showers are, are convective based, meaning that we have a cold pocket of air up above the surface. So you get a little bit of sunshine in the morning, heating uh, of the day, and that's going to allow that air to rise into that pocket of colder air. And uh, that's going to result in uh, uh, more of a rapid uh, cloud development. And there will be likely some downpours and even some thunder and lightning with a few of those showers. Not expecting any severe weather tomorrow, but again, one of those days like today that we have changeable sky conditions almost minute by minute. You got blue skies in one minute. The next you got a, a brief passing downpour 71. The current temperature or the high temperature today. Normal high this time of year is 74. We started the day off at 58, which is 10 degrees above average. Now I know the grass has been growing quite rapidly recently just because of all the recent rainfall that we've gotten. Give you a poor mo cast for tomorrow. Now, if you time it out just right, you may be able may be able to get uh, away with some mowing in between some of these showers, but the grass will be wet tomorrow. Much better conditions Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So upper level low pressure system spinning over the central Great Lakes area. This slides through for tomorrow with a few more showers and thunderstorms again late tonight. Not too much showing up. Couple showers coming south of the Finger Lakes, but most of us are dry right now and temperatures in the 50s and lower 60s. Not expecting too much movement through the overnight period. Tomorrow, limited sunshine early. Notice how the showers tend to fill in a little bit more once we get that peak heating of the day, even though temperatures will actually be below average. But the yellow is indicating some uh, localized downpours. These showers will drift off towards the south and east, and we'll be looking at improvements heading into Thursday. Storm Prediction Center continues with the chance for some thunderstorms, especially over the northern tier of Pennsylvania, but these expected to be non-severe. So that's certainly good news. This frontal boundary drifts its way off towards the south, and again, we see improvements with high pressure moving in from the Great Lakes area Thursday and into Friday. Like I mentioned earlier tonight, though, with this high pressure overhead, especially Thursday night, we get the clearing skies, diminishing winds, radiational cooling will set up, and uh, we could actually see a couple of the colder pockets into the upper 30s here for lows. Uh, this would be Thursday night, early Friday morning, so a little chilly uh, for this time of year for sure, about 10 degrees or so below average. Our five degree guarantee for today played out like this. We forecast 72, 71 was our high temperature. 52 for a low tonight. Still the chance for a couple showers out there with patchy areas of fog. 70 or 5 degree guarantee for tomorrow with showers and a few thunderstorms. Dry Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Just an isolated shower threat Sunday and Monday. But uh, we will see a warming trend through the weekend into early next week. Looking pretty nice. Look at that. And the seven day does warm up. That's right. So got to get through one more rainy day and then improvements thereafter. All right, Joe. And now on that question that you had of uh, this <laughs> one. Well, what season is the sun closest to the earth? We're talking northern hemisphere in terms of the seasons. Here. So <laughs> I'm going to say uh, spring. It'll be nope. winter, believe it or not, winter. And, and it, you wouldn't think that, right? Mm -hmm. Because you'd think, okay, the sun is closest maybe during the summer. But, Nick, it all comes down to the tilt of the earth. Not distance not to the sun. Not necessarily distance. Um, so the the uh, northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. And the sun only reason I said spring is because I'm like, it can't be summer. That would be mm -hmm. too easy. That would be too easy. But, yeah, believe it or not, it is winter. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Well, bird flu has been confirmed.